Stay tuned because Good Sports is coming up next. Kansas City Sports and Fitness is the magazine for sports fans in KC. Inside, we cover local sports and local teams from pro to peewee and everything in between. And this month's free copy of Kansas City Sports and Fitness includes The Great Life Golf and Fitness at River Oaks Golf Report. You'll find Kansas City Sports and Fitness all over KC at places like the Kansas City Ice Center. And it's free, so pick one up today. This show was recorded live on Saturday, November 17th. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Welcome to Good Sports, the Kansas City Sports and Fitness and GKC show. Now, this segment is presented by Kansas City Chiropractic. Kansas City Chiropractic understands the high-pressure demands placed upon individuals in the workplace and the athletic demands people place on their bodies, and they offer the care that can relieve pain and stress and improve overall health. And you can call them at 816-753-4600 or visit KansasCityChiropractic.com. Hello, I'm Steve Fish. I'm the publisher of Kansas City Sports and Fitness and SheKC Magazines, and you're watching or listening to Good Sports, the Kansas City Sports and Fitness and SheKC show. Now, today we're coming to you from the Grand opening of the new outdoor ice pavilion at the Kansas City Ice Center, which is located on Johnson Drive, two miles west to 435, where you can have your next party. You can come on out for a public skating session or take learn to skate or learn to play hockey classes. And to find out all you can do here, both inside and outside, call 913-441-3033 or visit their website, kcicecenter.com. Now, today we're taping our radio show, which is on ESPN 1510, Saturdays at 8 a.m., and our TV show, which can be seen on Show. West Cable on Channel 7 at 8.30 a.m., at 4.30 p.m., and at 8.30 p.m. every single day. Now, you can also view our show and some of our past shows on YouTube, and all you have to do when you go to YouTube is search for the Good Sports KC channel, and it's all one word, Good Sports KC. Now, before we get started with the show, I want to tell everyone that our latest issue of She KC is available at over 500 locations, and our current issue of KC Sports and Fitness is available free at over 700 locations in KC. And this month, with our current issue, KC Sports continues to celebrate our 15th year as the magazine for sports fans in KC. Now, in our current issue of KC Sports, we feature our Chiefs report presented by Bud Light. This month, we explain our reasons why fan respect has turned into revolt, and we talk with linebacker and lead dancer Justin Houston. And in our new hockey report presented by the Kansas City Ice Center, where we are today, we have an article on youth hockey. We give you an update on the new outdoor NHL sized ice rink which opens today which we'll have more information on that as we go into the show and in ckc we have a story on kc's 2012 olympic gold medal winner shannon freeland plus we show you how kc is a hot spot for college recruiting for soccer players for women's teams now you can pick up your copy of our current issue of KC Sports at Burger King's, at both Minsky's on Barry Road, at Mr. Good Sense, the Kansas City Ice Center where we're doing our show today, Fieldhouse of KC, and at Dick's Sporting Goods in the KC metro area. And for a complete list of locations where you can find KC Sports Magazine, visit our website, kcsportspaper.com. You'll find a link to a list of locations right on the front page of the website. And you can actually check out a PDF of the entire issue online as well. And our publication, SheKC, is now out and available at many of the locations where you'll find KC Sports. Plus, you can visit our website, SheKC.com. Check us out on Facebook by searching SheKC, all one word, or follow us on Twitter at She underscore KC. Now, again, we are out at the Kansas City Ice Center. Uh, great things are happening here. I've kind of let the cat out of the bag here, but I uh, want to introduce our first guest. He's been a regular on our show for many, many months as they've gone through this process. He's Dean Nelson. He's the general manager of the KCI Center and the new Outdoor Ice Pavilion. Welcome to the show, hey, Dean. Thanks for having me, Steve. Appreciate well, it. Well, about six months ago, we started talking about this. Yeah. I, th I think it was about six months ago. In fact, you did a reveal on our show. Yeah. It was the first place that you, you told anybody about this. 
fill us in on what's going on here today. Yeah, you know, today we're having our grand opening of our outdoor pavilion. It's an NHL-sized, uh, fully uh, boarded and, and scoreboard and the whole thing. It's a pavilion-style arena outside. So the only thing it doesn't have is the four exterior walls. It basically has a roof, and uh, we have ice. Now it's about 55 degrees today as we're, <laughs> as we're taping. Yeah. <laughs> so the ice is still there, you know, uh, but there are going to be a couple warm days coming up. But it has a full chiller system. Ice looks great. Uh, you know, we worked real hard this week on getting this rink up because we had a deadline to make today for a huge, huge op- open house. Absolutely. So uh, tell us, what, what was the process you went through? I mean, we've gone through these steps, and the last time we were here, the ice wasn't down. There was cement out, and you mm-hmm. were waiting for that cement to cure. Yes. Um, the boards weren't up, although in the current issue of KC Sports and Fitness, you sent me a picture because yep. the boards were going up at the time I was in production. And now everything has come together. You've got ice out there. You've got kids skating out there. What's the process that you go through to to get it to that level? Um, and, and it really, it's all happened in the last maybe two weeks. Yeah, it's, it's just like a construction project. You know, there's mm-hmm. week, weekly meetings on where you're at in the project. It's uh, come on in. There's a company out of Toronto called Custom Ice who comes in and puts in the boards and puts in the glass. That was after the cement was down. So the cement's right. down. The glycol piping is all underneath the cements to keep it cool. They come in and put in the boards. They set the glass. Uh, you know, little by little, things go up. The score clock, the, the sound system, um, you know, the bleachers. We have some small bleachers that come in. So it's really a, it's almost like a construction project you're going to do for any kind of commercial building. You just stay on track. And I tell you, we had this uh, November 17th date set months ago, and, we, and everybody pulled together to work real hard to, to make the ice. We had to build the ice through the night. Uh, every night uh, we had to make sure that that ice was being built. Yeah, and how long does it take to put the ice, uh, you know, in place? You know, I tell you, the temperatures were great this year. Uh, during the night, uh, they were about 28 or 30 degrees, so we would flood the ice uh, just like with your normal fireman's hose, like a big, a big flooding um, a tool that we use here. I would say it took a good three or four strong nights to bring that up. Mm-hmm. And you had, yeah, we had several cold nights the, yep. the week before this or, or this week. Uh, which I'm sure added to that, and then you got out there and you painted, and that's isn't that a laborious process yeah. actually to to do that because it's actually somebody sitting there and either painting or you had said something about another another product that you use now. To yeah, they actually that. the the white paint that goes down on top of a couple layers of ice. You put down a little bit of ice, and then you're going to paint it white. And that, okay. that's the uh, that's the appearance you get when you come to an ice rink is that that white paint. And uh, so then we go out and we paint that, and then we actually lay the lines on top of that paint after we seal it. Right. We lay the lines with a vinyl. They're a vinyl line, and and, and the creases are all vinyl now, or like a mesh type that that frees into that uh, paint into that, and then you seal it again with uh, light misting of of more water over the top. And I tell you what, the staff here is just awesome. I mean, they worked right with me right into the night, uh, on Tuesday night it was, and then we had a lot of people, since hockey was going on inside, we had a lot of people out uh, spectating and watching the, the masterpiece that we put together. <laughs> well, I, I have to say, I, I, it, I, I was really driving here. I realized why people got excited when the new Arrowhead you know, popped up and, the, and they made the changes at Royal Stadium and then the Sporting Kansas City uh, Park went in and all that about those stadiums. Because as I'm driving here, being a hockey fan, I was getting excited. I mean, yeah. I was like, I, and I've seen the steps that you've gone through, but I was getting excited because something was, you know, going to be happening out there um, that, you know, in the sport that I love to participate in. And, and I totally understood why people said, oh, yeah, we've got to go out and check out the new stadium because that's that's what I felt when I came here. It yeah. was just truly amazing and, and exciting. And when I and I and I was like, as I'm driving here, I'm turning the corner saying, OK, I want to see it for the first time with the boards up and things like that. And, and it was just it was just absolutely cool. And you've got some great pictures on your website, uh, KCICenter.com. I looked at them last night. You've got a very dramatic night time picture with yeah. the lights up and all yeah. that and it's just really neat yeah it's really it's neat. Just super neat i tell you what you come down johnson drive and i had a guy come in last night this is a true story and he says what is going on here mm-hmm. and i said well what do you mean and he said this is a nice rink he <laughs> said i would have never thought he goes but i've been driving by watching it and i came around the corner tonight and with all the lights it looked like you know a big uh, uh lit up uh stadium almost yeah yeah and he came in and he looked out on the ice and he could not believe his eyes that we have actually built an outdoor ice arena right mm-hmm. in shawnee kansas so it's just been a, a privilege of mine not only to be a part of this project but being from the state of hockey and and, and having <laughs> hockey running right through my blood uh, every day uh, this has been just a just an utter joy for me absolutely so this is the first ice rink that you've been a part of that has gone from ground to 
to up? Uh, yeah, and nothing like this before ever with a, an outdoor rink. I mean, I have never seen anything like it. I know up uh, from where I'm from, they have some outdoor ice surfaces, but nothing like a uh, specifically just for hockey. Right, right. So, so what's going to happen on that rink? What's going to happen starting today, starting tomorrow? Today we even have like the small kids out there, the U8. We have a game out there in between our open house public skate, and then tonight, oh, wow. tonight we have a big open house for the stars and their family, our, our youth organization. I had uh, learned to play hockey this morning at eight o'clock on the inside rink, and all the kids came in and they looked outside and. And they were all asking, do we get to go out there? Do we yeah. get to go oh, out yeah. there? And, yeah. and I didn't know how it would take, you know, uh, shape with most of the kids. I thought it would be great. So I said, no, no, you don't get to go out there today. You know, uh, still being, uh, you know, we're still working on it. We still got to Zamboni it. So I took them inside for about a half hour and did some drills with them. And I said, you guys all listened really good today. Let's go outside and <laughs> skate. And we walked over to the outdoor rink, and, and they just lit up, and we had some music going for them. And, and I tell you what, the kids, the, the smiles on their face made it all worthwhile for me, the hard work we put in. What a thrill. Wow, how exciting. What a thrill. And, and yeah, I mean, you were, you were tying a kid's skates over here as we were getting ready, and he's, he was asking about your, your game because you're going to be jumping from here to behind the bench yep. on, the, on the indoor rink. And, he, and the kid was asking, are we going to be playing outside? Yeah, that's <laughs> so, all they want to know yeah. right now. And, and they all want to know if we're going to be skating outside outside if we're going to be playing outside and I think it's just going to bring uh, another dimension with not only another sheet of ice that we really needed after Pepsi going down here in this area I wasn't real familiar with it but I I know the story behind it we need another sheet of ice to help with the hockey programs with the recreational skating the figure skating you know and all your men's leagues and stuff we needed another full sheet of ice to to be up and running during these months so when you get out there you have a really nice patio area out Mm -hmm. there with comfortable seating for the adults and and warmth. Yes. There, there's a fire. There's yep. a fireplace there. Yeah. And then it, and then you have, and I thought this was really smart. When I drove up, I said, oh, wow, they did that. That's really great. All the way around the boards on yeah. the backside, you've got an area where people can bring food and, and, yep. and put it down yeah. or put their phones down there or their bags or whatever. Seating where people can see over the you know over the boards right. and things like that right and then it looks like you have heaters yeah we have a couple too. of those space heaters you those know were, those ones those that go on looking. the patio yeah. those are real neat and you know the idea with that bar rail came is uh, you know i was over at independence ice arena one day and they had about a six foot one really? and i said wow this would be neat if we took a a 45 foot bar rail you know or i think it's not you know it's probably 80 foot bar rail yeah and put it yeah. all the way around the home end we call yeah. it uh. so our, our parents can sit down there and relax a little bit <laughs> and uh and the fireplace is surrounded by some very comfortable chairs as well and it, and it puts off great heat there's going to be some fighting for those seats yeah, i right. think you're going to have fighting off the ice you might have to have a referee <laughs> out there out and back there parents especially around the heater as, exactly. as as we get into february and things like that but so you're going to use the facility not only for games yeah uh not only for learn to skate and learn to play hockey, but you're also going to have public session there, and that's going to be real important, especially as we get into the Christmas break. Yeah, you know, we already have our Thanksgiving break coming up next week, and I have public sessions, I think four of them each day when the kids are out of school, Wednesday and Friday. We'll have the same around the Christmas time. You know, we'll have uh, public skates during the day, and what a great deal. We'll probably do something like a skate with Santa, and we'll, we'll do some holiday fun for them. So we're really, really excited to have that extra sheet of ice where we can continue to run our programs inside. And then outside we can have that public skate or, or that stick and puck or that freestyle or, you know, the figure skating. So just really gives us some flexibility to grow skating it uh, right here down in Kansas right. City area. So you're going to use it for, um, obviously, your Learn to Skate programs. You, yep. did that, you did that today. Uh, let's talk a little bit about the Learn to Play hockey program that you have in place going on here. What are the ages of the kids that usually usually participate uh, in It's that? usually about 3 to 10 or 3 to 11. You know, I'm finding that a lot of kids want to get involved um, at the very early age right now, and this is only going to help us a ton because I can add like an extra clinic or an extra hour of learn to play hockey outside if we need to. And, and the kids, uh, once they see the outdoor rink and once they, they know what's going on here, you know, I think we're going to get a big big upside on the hockey program. Sure, and the and the people that work here, uh, many of them will help coach and mm-hmm. work with the kids and, and tell us about some of the coaches that you have. And yeah, you know, uh, uh, Jordan and Matt, uh, a couple of the guys that I lean on real heavy around here. Matt uh, Alexander is from uh, Rochester, Minnesota, my hometown, and we just uh, work real well together. Matt's a... Um, uh, uh, great asset for the the company to have, and Jordan is a locally uh, born and raised kid who's right. come through the programs here, and he's a great asset to have as well. And then I I lean on some guys like Jeff Jeff Musoff, uh, that is also a, a youth coach here, and he helps me a lot with my learn to play hockey program. And then I got a couple of the uh, figure skating coaches who help me with my real little kids, you know, because they they uh, have that hockey background as well. Just getting started, the kids. yeah. And you don't have to have any necessarily any skating experience to 
get out there or get out there and and start in the learn to skate or the learn to play yeah, hockey Yeah, I think our next session starts December 1st, uh, and uh, we have 17 kids signed up right now with zero experience. And so we'll, we, we have skates here for them. We have sticks here for them. Uh, they just need a helmet with a face mask and, and, like I always said, a ride to the rink. Right. And uh, we can do pretty much the rest here between our coaching staff, between our facility, between uh, uh, the equipment that we have on hand here. We even rent equipment to kids right. so they can rent the equipment for the, the whole session. But uh, we have 17 kids with no experience at all, which will, which will be a great, great treat for us. Absolutely. Do you start them with the little uh, walkers we to, do. to get started? Yeah, it's, we do a little yeah. bit. But, but they're off those usually by about the third week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kids can... Adapt to, uh, you know, stand on that tiny little blade really easily. Yeah. It's it's amazing how they do that. Oh, and I did bring my skates today, so I'm going to try it out oh, there nice. after, after. You may you may be, uh, I, and I haven't skated for about two and a half years, so so that might be something to videotape. Yeah, let's, make, I don't. let's make sure we get the video of that and we'll put that <laughs> I, on. That's awesome. I, I don't know, but, uh, you know, I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. I, I have to be able to say, yeah, I skated on it. So. Yeah. And I'll be sending pictures to my kids in, you know, oh, other, other cities to show that's them That's what it's all about, on. you know. I yeah. mean, it's all about that, uh, you know, uh, experience of skating on an outdoor rink is just awesome it is and it's a shame the nhl is not going to do their outdoor game this year but i'm guessing that there's still going to be some other outdoor things going on uh with that surface that they're creating because it's a big deal i mean yeah. they, they put in an outdoor rink and they have like two weeks of events and where kids can skate on it and things like that and, and i know you've gotten you've gotten a lot of uh, people from other cities that are contacting you and saying hey we want to be able to schedule a game yeah we have a game the out there uh, tomorrow morning against one, one of the afton teams from oh, uh, st louis great. area so they're here this weekend and, and they they had specifically said hey if we come on over can we can we have a game out there and and, uh, and all that's going to awesome. do is they're going to go back, and that's going to filter through St. Louis, and more, right. pe more people are going to reach out to you and things yeah, like yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. So we, we might even have our own winter classic right here, you know, around the <laughs> holiday time. We do have that uh, Plaza Lights tournament for kids at uh, the 20th right. through the 30th, and we're going to have outdoor hockey for that. So oh, it's kind of like our own little just... winter classic. You know, uh, and that's a whole other story, getting the NHL going. We really need yeah. the NHL to go. I mean, the kids yeah. around here, they need they need that, so... Yeah, they have to see somebody and be able to idolize somebody That's right. and want to be that guy on the ice. That's right. You know, wear his number. Uh, yeah, exactly. There were so many 99s when I was coaching, yeah. <laughs> you know. It's like, you can't wear number 99. I'm sorry. but right. uh, uh, So uh, you're going to use it for uh, not only the learn to play and uh, learn to skate. Uh, your adults are going to be out there yeah. as well, the adults that play hockey here. And mm -hmm. you've got men and women that skate yeah. out here in your leagues. Yeah, we've got three games out there this Sunday night. So, I mean, the, oh, the, wow. the adult league starts right out there. And, and they're just as excited, you know. I mean, uh, they had their drop-in here on Friday afternoon, and two or three of them went out there to try out the ice. So they're just excited as the kids are. That's wonderful. That is just great. So public skating is, is coming up. Um, what's your sessions going to be like as you get into, you know, Thanksgiving, obviously, and Christmas and, and all that? I mean, everybody gets skates. On, in the old days, everybody got skates under the Christmas tree, right. <laughs> and they had to try them out at that time. You know, it's a little different now, but, uh, um, you know, people will want to bring their kids out here. You can, it's great family activity, yeah, first of all, to go skating, and then uh, if you want to wear your kids out, too, bring them out to the rink and let them go outside and skate yeah. for two hours. We're going to have a like neat that. thing uh, on the outdoor rink. It's going to be mo like Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays during the school year, four to six, so you can come down after school and you can skate during that time, four to six, when you're looking awesome. for something to do before dinner. As a family, you're looking for something to do, or the babysitter, you know, you're not home from work yet and you have a uh, nanny or babysitter that can take the kids down here uh, we'll have plenty of uh, public skate times around the holidays as well so um, bring your kids on down and you can check out all of our public skate times all of our programs anything we do here at kcicecenter.com that's our website it's kcicecenter.com or else call us at 913-441-3033 down here at the rink and we can answer all your questions and help you out with any program and the rink is just located um two miles west to 435 on Johnson Drive as you drive down a big hill. Uh, you'll see a, a outdoor volleyball, sand volleyball facility. You'll see a baseball facility, and then the rink comes r up on you real fast. And, and now you've got, you know, besides the, the, the rink building, now you've got the outdoor rink that yeah. people can see. So how long will you guys manage that, uh, manage and keep that? ice on the rink what's, you know, the, we're what's hoping the plan the march 1st is the plan you know i mean looking at weather and stuff you know we're, we want to be open november 15th through march 1st so uh depending on the weather and and what we're dealt with we'll, we'll try to sure. keep it open maybe even a little longer just depends on, on what happens with the weather and after that you take down the ice and you melt the melt the ice but you're still going to use the outdoor facility yeah we're looking at uh, roller hockey out there or some type of training programs for my camps and clinics that i run in the summer so we're, that's what we're looking for as far as that outdoor facility is roller hockey Okay, so now I have to ask you the most important question of all. When you first started, 
here about a year or so ago you had one ice rink. Now you've got two. Mm -hmm. Are they doubling your pay? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that would be a good deal. Uh, <laughs> you know, I tell you what, this is, and I'm not, I'm not even kidding about this. This is such a great job and a great and a yeah. great place to be when if you're a hockey lover or a skating uh, lover. And uh, I tell you what, I, I wouldn't do it for free, but I would do it for even less than they're paying me. <laughs> but uh, we'll have to talk to the we'll, boss we'll, about we'll, a double in pay. Well, yeah, we'll cut we'll cut that out here for you because we don't we don't want to get get right. you in trouble That's and right. all that. Thanks a lot. Uh, Steve. Hey, we appreciate you coming. Good luck to your team. No uh, problem. That are I gotta go coach now. Yeah. Here. yeah, yeah, go. Go get them, and, and uh, we're going to take a quick break. Uh, we're coming to you from Kansas City Ice Center, which is located two miles west, 435 on Johnson Drive. I am Steve Fish. We'll be right back. Go online and watch Good Sports, the KC Sports Magazine television show. It's available on the Good Sports KC YouTube channel and features local interviews with local athletes and experts covering sports, health, and exercise topics of importance to KC fans. And be sure to pick up your copy of the new KC Sports and Fitness Magazine featuring the Siege Sports High School Report, the Surplus Exchange College Sports Report, the KC Ice Center Hockey Report, the Great Life Golf Report, and the Bud Light Chiefs Report. KC Sports Magazine is always free, so pick one up today. Are you tired of paying $40, $50, or even $60 to play golf? Great Life Golf and Fitness at River Oaks is changing the game by offering a $29.99 family membership that includes unlimited green fees, a fitness center, and access to Great Life's 16 other locations. And check out all the great weekly specials at River Oaks, including All You Can Play Wednesday, Dollar Beer Fridays, and the Everyday Senior Special. For more information, call River Oaks at 816-966-8111 or visit greatlifegolf.com. These days, we're all so busy, and many of us ignore our health and let stress turn into chronic pain. Dr. Lynn McIntosh of Kansas City Chiropractic can provide you with the proper care to relieve pain and stress, improve your health, and get more out of life. To make an appointment with Dr. McIntosh, call 816-753-4600. Most insurance plans are welcome, and this month, save 20% on Joint Replete, joint and soft tissue supplement with your coupon in KC Sports and Fitness. For more information on Dr. McIntosh and Kansas City Chiropractic, go online at kansascitychiropractic.com. With the current trend to live a greener lifestyle, many people and businesses now recycle their electronics. At the Surplus Exchange, your e-waste will never go to a landfill or incinerator, nor will we allow e-waste to be shipped overseas. Some companies employ this tactic and end up polluting other countries with our waste. All materials are safely tracked, destroyed, or reclaimed right here in the U.S. The Surplus Exchange is Kansas City's link between industry, charity, and the environment. To find out more, visit surplusexchange.org. Whether you are playing a sport, running a business, or learning how to use an iPad, your ability to make split-second decisions is essential for your success. Hey sports fans, this is Greg Pryor. I was an infielder in Major League Baseball for over nine seasons and was a member of the 85 World Champion Royals. My decisions in the field and at the plate could have been the difference between winning and losing. Since 1994, I have owned a local health supplement company called Life Priority. Life Priority offers many nutritional formulas that give your body the nutrients that can help your brain keep pace in today's fast lifestyle. To see all 17 Life Priority products, please visit my website at lifepriority.com or call me at 913-438-5433. Use Life Priority products and improve your chances of winning. For free shipping, use promo code LIFEP at lifepriority.com or call me today at 913 913- Four three eight five four three three. Get 10% off UPS shipping at the two South KC UPS stores with your coupon at KC Sports and Fitness. Bring your next shipment to 103rd between Warnell and State Line or 121st and State Line in Leewood and save 10% on UPS shipping with your coupon in KC Sports. Save $8 on your purchase of 25 or more at Mafia Mike's Pizza, 15205 87th and Lenexa, or Mafia Pizzeria Southside at 12627 Metcalf in Overland Park with your coupon from KC Sports. Great pizza and a great offer you can't refuse from Mafia Mike's and Mafia Pizzeria. Call Mafia Mike's at 913-660-1441 and Mafia Pizzeria at 913-322-6666. If you're looking to upgrade or downsize your home, contact Katie Forrest at Reese & Nichols. She's been representing sellers and buyers in Kansas and Missouri since 1996 and can get your goals met. Call Katie at 913-226-5947. 
tailgating and professional indoor football are back in KC at Kemper Arena beginning in the spring of 2013 with the Kansas City Renegades. For more information and ticket details, visit kcrenegades.com. Welcome to the CollegiateCamo.com halftime report here on Good Sports, the Kansas City Sports and Fitness and She KC Show, the show that complements Kansas City Sports and Fitness and She KC Magazines. I am Steve Fish, and today we're coming to you from the grand opening of the new outdoor ice pavilion at the Kansas City Ice Center located on Johnson Drive, two miles west of 435, where you can have your next party. Come on out for a public skating session or take a learn to skate or learn to play hockey class here uh, to find out all you can do here on both on the inside and the outside of the rink. Uh, call 913-441-3033 or visit their website, kcicecenter.com. Now, this segment of the CollegiateCamo.com Halftime Report is brought to you by First Student Charter Bus Rental and those yellow buses that you see that transport your kids can also be rented for group activities like taking a group to the big game, corporate events, church or youth group trips, special events, shuttles, and more. So the next time that you're planning a group outing, choose yellow and choose first. All you have to do is call 866-514-8747 for details or visit firstcharterbus.com. It's also brought to you by collegiatecamo.com. Collegiate Camo combines your love of the outdoors and the loyalty to your favorite college sports teams. Collegiate Camo offers <coughs> only the finest quality car and truck decals, jumbo boat decals, hats, and headwear, shirts, outerwear, uh, and women's items, and other Camouflage College logo products. Collegiate Camo features products for over 40 schools. You can visit their website, collegiatecamo.com, to find products from your school that you can proudly display or give as holiday gifts. Now, in our current issue of KC Sports and Fitness, check out the Surplus Exchange College Sports Report. And this month, we interviewed Jayhawk safety Bradley McDougald, Wildback, uh, Wildcat linebacker Trey Walker, who played at Olathe North, and Tiger defensive back EJ Gaines, who played for Fort Osage. And in CKC, we feature a story on the benefits of exercising in the morning, plus introduce you to Denise Lewis, a local runner who provides... Uh, who proves that you can take on new athletic endeavors at the age of 40. And you can pick up your copy of KC Sports and Fitness at over 700 locations, including the Kansas City Ice Center, where we're doing our show today, Mafia Mike's Pizza at 87th and Lackman and Lenexa, and Mafia Pizzeria Southside at 127th and Metcalf. Now you'll find KC all over KC at 500 locations, and you can find those locations on our website, shekc.com. Now, if you'd like to follow us on Facebook or Twitter, you can go to our websites and follow the links to our pages. Our websites are kcsportspaper.com and shekc.com. Now you can view our shows and some of our past shows on YouTube, and all you have to do is search for the Good Sports KC channel. Now, we'd like to welcome some new advertisers to KC Sports and Fitness, and they include collegiatecamel.com, the sponsor of this segment of Good Sports, Katie Forrest, Forrest, Reese and Nichols Real Estate Office. If you're looking to upgrade or downsize your home, contact Katie Forrest. Uh, she's been representing buyers and sellers in the, in Kansas and Missouri since 1996, and you can get your she can get your goals met. Call Katie at 913-226-5947. Plus, Digicom Satellite, where you can take your uh, favorite games to go with Dish Networks, Remote Access, Sling Adapter, and Tailgater, Digicom Satellite, and Dish connect you to your favorite sports events on the go. Call Digicom Satellite at 877-439-4643 or visit digicomsatellite.getdish.com, and that's D-I-G-I-C-O-M satellite.getdish.com. Plus, we want to mention several advertisers in SheKC, and they are Kansas City Chiropractic. Katie Forrest, Reese and Nichols Real Estate Office, HitMix USA, Mobile DJ Entertainment, Family Bicycles, Superior Toyota, Your Wellness Connection, Polofsky and Associates, the Heart of America Havoc Professional Volleyball Team, Sport Court, Stanley Jazzer Size, the Missouri Comets, Gardens of Delight, Yoga, Heritage College, the Fieldhouse, the Surplus Exchange, and Wells Fargo Financial Advisor, Melanie Apodaca. Now, we are joined uh, here at the grand opening of the new Outdoor Ice Pavilion, and it is a very busy, very noisy place here today by uh, Kate Gen Genchies. Did I pronounce that right? It's, a, it's just K. 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 Genchies. K. Genchies. 
who is the skate school director for the Kansas City Ice Center. Uh, welcome to the show. Well, thank Th you. Thanks for joining us. Now, um, you know, how big, let me ask you this, how big is this new outdoor rink uh, to the skaters that you deal with on a regular basis? What, what kind of big deal is it? Well, it is a pretty big deal. Um, it's the first time that a lot of them have um, skated outside. Um, and we also um, offer more ice time for them to come practice and um, work on their skills by having the extra sheet of ice outside. Sure. Uh, now, you have a new session, I think, of Learn to Skate that's starting sometime right after Thanksgiving. Yes. Is that correct? The, yeah. first, the first day that we are having um, classes after Thanksgiving will be on Monday. They start at um, 645 for the basic skill level one and snowplow, so the very beginning. And they don't even know how to stand up. They can... Um, <laughs> They can come skate at 6.45. I see. So and, and peop, if people want to sign up for that, they go to your website? Yes, yes. They can go to the website, KansasCityIceCenter.com or KCICenter.com. KCICenter.com, yeah. And then um, sign up there. And you can call 441-3033-913 as well to uh, ask questions and things like that, find out. I mean, I'm going to ask you this. To get started with um, a Learn to Skate class, what do you need? You need... Um, Warm clothing, layer, layered clothing, you know, gloves are important. Okay. And sometimes helmets, if um, you want, are recommended, but they're not required for, the, like, the snowplow, the ages three to five. Okay. And so the helmets, can it be a bicycle helmet or something like that? Yes. Just to get started? Uh -huh. Yes. yes. Just, just to get started. started. Yeah. Yes. I thought yeah. I'd seen yeah. some yeah. kids yeah. that were out there like that. Mm -hmm. So do you also, I asked Dean this question regarding the hockey. Um, you start them on walkers, the the little um, we do We do start them on the walkers um, the very first day um i usually try to get them off um by lesson three right because um we i usually call it dump the walker day <laughs> and because i do need to get off the walker so um um we try to get them off as soon as possible you, and you uh, skate them in figure skates i would guess to get started or or can they i do skates? i do suggest figure skates to start um figure skates have a little bit more um that blade that actually touches the ice right um hockey skates have less blade that actually touches the ice so the balance is just a little bit different in hockey skates as it is on um, figure skates so um, until they get their balance i do suggest that they um wear figure skates yeah figure skates are actually flatter yes um yes. so there is you've got you know depending on the size i guess you're, you're starting with a little kid it's right a right bit. yeah yeah and, and a hockey skate actually yeah. if you look at it it's actually More curved mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. you know you can't really see that right but so you're really only standing on right. about an inch of the skate yes. and then there's and then really and, and the thing that amazes me is you're not even standing on that pe that whole piece of metal which is only no. a quarter inch yeah. thick or so yeah. you're actually <laughs> just standing on an edge that's on right. each side of it because yes. there's it's kind of grooved right. and right. you know that's just truly amazing now not only do you work with kids but you have learned to skate hockey for for adults as well, right? Um, we do have learned to um, skate um, for adults. Um, they they start there to learn how to skate, and then they move on to play in the adult C and D leagues. Oh, okay. That are offered here. Okay. But um, we do teach them their skating skills. So it's mostly uh, mostly adults that are interested in hockey. Are there some of them that want to come out and figure skate? Right. Yeah. There are. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Just wanting to learn yeah. how to skate, and um, sometimes they pick it up as an adult, learn to skating, and um, so they. Um, <laughs> so, so what's the natural progression for uh, a kid that's getting started? What do, you, what do they usually go through? They start with the snowplow program, which or is... Or the basic uh, one, yeah, yeah. It depends on their age. Um, basically, they're learning how to fall down, get up, and march um, confidently across the ice. And then they learn, you know, then they learn how to glide in one foot, and they learn how to go backwards, and then crossovers, frontwards, and then backwards. And then, you know... Could never do the backwards yeah. crossovers. I'm sorry. I just could never do it. <laughs> And Kay, Kay has been teaching classes and has been out on the ice, uh, so you know there's a there's a temperature change between here right. here and there. So right, but um, so so they go go through that, and then as they continue to go, they they step up in the classes, and in addition to that, they um, you know the oh more more skill gets add, added to what it is that they're doing. <coughs> yes, that's true. So. Um, so to get started with something like that, it's it's very simple. You can call the KCI Center at 441-3033. Um, and uh, <laughs> we're on the fly, we're going to get Kay some... some uh, <coughs> some liquid. There we go. There we go. Uh, we're going to get her some liquid. But now you also have classes for homeschooled kids as well. Yes, they are on Tuesday afternoons from 115 to 145. 
with a 15-minute practice from 1.45 to 2 on Tuesdays. Uh, they have all levels at that time. And then um, if as kids progress to, in this, they can uh, go on and participate with a team of some kind that is called a synchronized skating team. Intr- is that what Yeah, it is? introduction to synchronized skating is on Saturdays at noon, led by our um, own USA team member, Leah Karchin. Okay. And um, it's just introduction, you know, skating as a team as in a line, kind of like synchronized swimming, but on ice. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and what kind of things do they do there? They do spinning together and... They, and they go in a line and do, you know, kick lines and stroke and pinwheels. Have fun. And have fun. It's basically fun. A lot have of fun. fun. Yeah. Now, I know you guys have done, because we've been out here in, in the past when you have had kind of an ice show. Yes. Uh, what do you have plans for that? And is, you have plans to have one outside? Yes. Have or, yes. No, I have one actually planned um, December fifteenth. Oh, okay. On on the Pavilion Ice from five to eight. Um, anybody can come. It's free, and um, well, all the skaters are going to be doing their music um, skills out there to music um, as they are. Um, entertaining the crowd. So you'll have the individual kids that are taking figure skating classes, uh, performing individually like what you'd see in the Olympics and things like that. <laughs> you'll also have the synchronized team out Correct. there playing. I'm actually having or, um, or performing the introduction um, to synchronized skating team, and we're having a team from Lion Creek Ice Arena that is very competitive at the intermediate level coming down, and they're, they're fe- phenomenal. So Are I'm they, is that an older group of girls? Yes. Mostly girls? Yes, uh, yes. Yeah. Uh-huh, yeah. yeah, we did a story on a, a, a female who's now in college oh, who, yes. who participated uh-huh. in that yeah. that organization's um, synchro team, and she went on and is skating with her college team. Yeah, I'm looking forward to them coming down, showing what a synchro team can develop into, so... Well, Kay, I want to thank you for joining us today. I know you've got some activities that you're yes. you need to jump over yes. to, uh, both <laughs> both inside and outside. Correct. And uh, we're going to uh, take a break here. That'll do it for our CollegiateCamo.com halftime report. Uh, you're watching or listening to Good Sports, KC Sports and Fitness and SheKC Magazine Show. We are coming to you from the grand opening of the Outdoor Ice Pavilion at the Kansas City Ice Center, which is located two miles west of 435 on Johnson Drive. I'm Steve Fish. We'll be right back. Collegiate Camo combines your love of the outdoors and loyalty to your favorite college sports team. Collegiate Camo offers only the finest quality car and truck decals, jumbo boat decals, hats and headwear, shirts, outerwear, women's items, and other camouflage college logo products. Collegiate Camo features products for over 40 schools. Visit their website, collegiatecamo.com, to find products from your school that you can proudly display. For sports like you've never seen before, Siege Sports is the answer. Unique uniforms and superior equipment for your complete athletic experience. Contact Siege Sports at 913-953-8400 or visit siegesports.com. Kansas City Ice Center is set to open their brand new outdoor ice pavilion on November 17th. And sign up now for Learn to Skate and Learn to Play Hockey classes. The KC Ice Center is located two miles west of 435 on Johnson Drive. Plus, come check out a public skating session or call them to schedule a party or group rental. For more information or to register for a class, visit kcicecenter.com or call 913-441-3033. For over 40 years, Old Shawnee Pizza has been serving up great pizza and Italian food in Kansas City. Call 913-631-5716 for their Shawnee location and 913-677-1844 for their KCK location. And watch for their new location at K10 in Woodland, opening soon. Your center for natural healing is the Gardens of Delight. Yoga, Tai Chi, natural wellness therapy in a serene setting near downtown Parkville. Visit gardensofdelight.org or call 816-584-0777 for more information or to sign up for a yoga class. The Dish Hopper Whole Home HD DVR has everyone talking. 
You can even skip commercials automatically when you play back recorded primetime content. Ask how to get the hopper for free. Visit Digicom Satellite, your dish authorized retailer, or call 877-439-4643. That's 877-439-4643. Auto Hop, only available for playback of select HD primetime shows. Must be enabled by customer. Restrictions apply. Call for details. Someone has to motivate her. Someone has to prepare him. Someone has to lead them. Someone has to train them. Heritage College. Train to be a personal trainer. Get started today. Call 1-866-845-3613. That's 1-866-845-3613. Eagles Landing Golf Course is the place to play golf in the Southland and is by far the best golf value around. Visit EaglesLandingGolfCourse.com and for tee times, call 816-318-0004 and make the drive to see why Eagles Landing is the best golf value in KC. It's Cigar and Tabac's 30-year anniversary, and you can save 30% on Esteban Carrera's cigars. Regular $570 to $950, now $399 to $665. So hurry into Cigar and Tabac and take advantage of this anniversary special. MLS Soccer is back at the Independence Event Center. Come cheer on your Missouri Comets all season long. For more information or tickets for the Missouri Comets, visit CometsIndoorSoccer.com or call 855-KC Arena. Weddings, holiday parties, reunions, corporate events, team parties, and school. For music for any special occasion, contact HitMix USA Mobile DJ Entertainment. For more information, visit HitMixUSA.com. Welcome back to Good Sports, Kansas City Sports and Fitness and She KC Show, the show that complements Kansas City Sports and Fitness and She KC Magazines. I am Steve Fish, and today we are coming to you from the grand opening of the new outdoor ice pavilion at the Kansas City Ice Center located on Johnson Drive, two miles west of 435, where you can have your next party. You can come on out for a public skating session or take a learn to skate or learn to play hockey class. You can find out all you can do here, both inside and outside, by calling 913-441-3033. You can visit their website, kcicecenter.com, as well. Now, this segment of Good Sports is brought to you by the Surplus Exchange, where you can take a tax donation credit, plus help KC students when you recycle your electronics, your office furniture, at the Surplus, surplus Exchange. For more information, visit surplusexchange.org or call 816 470 0444. Now, I also want to mention some of the experts who each will be a part of our show during the month, and they are Dr. Lynn McIntosh from Kansas City Chiropractic off the Plaza, former Royal World Series champ Greg Pryor from Life Priority Nutrition, who will share nutritional supplement information with us, and nationally known safety expert Marty Augustine from Safe Kansas. Each will join us on the air once a month to talk about things like exercise, health solutions, sports, and more, and you can read a health or a sports tip from each in our current issue of KC Sports and Fitness, or She KC. Now, to read each of their current articles, pick up your copy of KC Sports and Fitness at over 700 locations including the Burger Kings and Sport Clips all over KC. Uh, and you can also find She KC at over 500 locations across the city. Now, in this month's She KC, we introduce you to Casey's Ann Gaffigan, who is helping open doors for female athletes. Plus, we write about eating disorders and the pressures that female athletes have to remain competitive. Plus, in KC Sports, we feature our golf report presented by Great Life Golf and Fitness, and we deliver some of the top tips from PGA Pros. In our high school report presented by Siege Sports, we write about the Fort Osage Indians and their quarterback, Steve McBee, and also tight end Devontae Mosby. Now, I also want to mention that on December 1st, we will be at Oliver's Pizzeria, located on 135th Street in the Parkway Plaza between Nall and Rowe, and our taping will start at about 12.30 that day. Hopefully on December 8th, and I haven't checked this with Dean, but uh, we'll be out at the Kansas City Ice Center. If not, we'll be here another day in December. 
uh, for uh, the Kansas City Ice Center is located two miles west of 435 on Johnson Drive. And our taping usually starts about 1230 uh, when we're out here. And on December 15th, we will be at Old Shawnee Pizza located about a half mile north of Shawnee Mission Parkway on Neiman Road. And our taping will start at about 1230 that day also. So come on out and join us for these events. You might see yourself on TV. Now we are joined by uh, Amy Briscoe. She is the parent of a hockey player who we're going to meet here in just a second. She also helps to teach here at the Kansas City Ice Center. She teaches Learn to Skate. Amy, welcome to the show. Hang on, i got to turn your microphone oh. up. We, we turned it down. Okay, now, let's start. The, Amy, thank, welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. Oh, you bet. Uh, now, let's introduce uh, your hockey player here. His name is Kellen. Kellen, hi. Hi. How you doing, Kellen? Good. Now, you had a hockey game today, right? Yeah. How'd your team do? Did you have fun out there on the ice? Yeah, yeah. Did, did, you, uh, did you have a goalie that you shot on, or uh, did you... Did you get to handle the puck? Did you get to handle the puck? Did you get to pass the puck to some of your friends yeah, yeah, yeah. and things like that? Uh, how'd your team do? I see you're wearing your, your yeah. Stars jersey. What number are you on the Stars? Number five. Number five. Do you like wearing number five? Yeah. Do yeah. you play defense or do you play forward or whatever the coach tells you that he wants you to do? Uh, Either or? Both? Both? Yeah. 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 How long have you been playing hockey, Kellen? Uh, A year? Two years? This you can you can pop in, year. yeah. Yeah, this is the second year. This is the second year. So did you did you start playing, um, learn to play hockey here at the rink? D- is that what you did? Did you, did you start playing and learn? Yeah, to play? I started and learned to skate, and then uh, skating around with mom and dad also. Oh, and, okay. Uh, then we um, got him into the stars last fall. Was his first gotcha. season with the stars. Yeah. Gotcha. So, uh, what's the most fun thing about playing hockey? Well, actually, about shooting on the goal. Shooting on the goal, yeah, it's always fun. Do you raise your raise your hands up and your stick up when you score a goal? Well, sometimes we do that on each game. Yeah. But um, sometimes we lift up our sticks and we bang them on the ice. Oh, bang them on the ice, sure. To say thank you to our moms and dads. Oh yeah, that's great. Yeah, that's great. Now. Uh, what's what's uh, from what I remember when my kids were little is uh, the snack after the game was the most important thing. Did you do you like getting the snack and the drink after the game? Yeah. Yeah, that's that's more important. Now, do you, but do you go down the line and shake hands with all the other players on the team yeah. at the end of the game and say, "Hey, good game." Yeah. That's cool. That's very cool. Well, well, Amy, uh, fill us in <laughs> for for a, a hockey mom. And you also have figure skated, obviously, for a long, long time. You, you're, you right. list yourself as a, a professional figure skater. So, you know, uh, did, did you compete professionally? I competed. I was actually, uh, during college, mm-hmm. I was the National Collegiate Ladies uh, Junior Champion. Wow. I represented the University of Kansas. Go Jayhawks. Yeah. Yes. And then I also uh, competed as an adult. So I competed for over 20 years. Wow. Regionally, nationally. So. Wow. And now now you're helping to coach the Learn to Skate program. What is it that you're doing with these kids? Well, I'm, I'm helping out the, on the figure skating side. Um, helping out with the freestyle spins, jumps, edge work, which is always very important. And then on Saturday mornings, I help. <laughs> here's my littlest, Ian, cool. here. Hi, Ian. Come over to say hi. hi Ian. Um, and then on Saturday mornings, I help out with the Learn to Play Hockey kids, um, helping them with their skating uh, development so they can eventually play with the stars. Right. So how long have you been teaching? Forever and pr- since you were probably a teenager, probably for about fifteen to twenty years. Wow! Yeah, wow. a long time. So when did you start skating? I mean, what what age were you when you put them yeah, on? Yeah, I I had a pair of double runner blades. Uh, <laughs> you date you dating yourself? Yes, Boy, I'm you're dating, dating myself. Sorry. Yes, um, I was probably about three years old. Okay. Um, my dad was a semi pro hockey player. Was and, he? And um, back on the East Coast, and so he got me started for sure first off so. for sure so where you you hail from uh, somewhere way up north right in the east coast uh, massachusetts right mm-hmm. yeah so there's plenty of ice there yes. plenty of cold there that's what the kids do after school is strap on the skates and then they maybe come in for dinner right maybe <laughs> <laughs> if you're Bro- lucky. brothers sisters as well that did that or are you the o- I'm only i'm the only child you're the only child oh so you got yep. a lot of attention i'm sure from dad on <laughs> yep. on skating and things like that whoops Oops. Yeah. Whoops, okay. that's okay. There you go. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's all right. So you grew up skating. Um, if a kid comes to their um, their mom or dad, you want me to hold one um, of them? Yeah, Kellen, if, if their kid comes to their mom or dad and they say, you know, and, and the kid, the parent knows nothing about skating and they say that we want to skate, um, you know, how important is 
this facility here now uh, uh, for helping those kids get involved in, in skating? And then what should the parents expect, you know, as far as the growth of the, those kids in, right. in skating? Well, you know, this is a great facility now with the outside pavilion opening up today is the grand opening. Um, yeah. That's, it's, it's vital to skating in the community because it's offering up another sheet of ice, which affords everyone the opportunity more opportunities to come out for group lessons sure. or you know hockey practice or figure skating practice or whatever and you know the classes are six weeks long right so you know the first thing to do is to enroll them in to learn to skate program and you know you're, they're just going to learn the basics of skating which are the fundamentals mm -hmm. and most importantly have fun doing it yeah have fun and you know that that that's really the most important thing as long as they want to do it and they love it and they have fun learning the fundamentals and going from there. Mom is juggling an interview. This is the first. <laughs> this is the first for you. She's juggling an interview. Two kids that are interested in the equipment and uh, getting interviewed and uh, and eating and, and all that stuff. And yep. and boy, you're you're multitasking, and I appreciate <laughs> appreciate <Thank you. laughs> that. Um, and and once it gets in your blood, it gets in your blood, doesn't it? It does. It, it does. It does. Yes. When you start at it this does. level, or whether, like I started skating as an adult in, in my twi late 20s, and, you know, there's nothing like it. It's, it doesn't It's matter. so much fun. I mean, I, I haven't skated for a couple of years, but I brought my skates to yes. go just to go out there and just experience, yes. you know, I hope there's not too much rust on them, but, well, but you know, <laughs> it doesn't matter. Well, you know, that's the thing. It's <laughs> like, you know, and, and, you know, I skated for years, and I had to take a little break, but it's like you always Gee, I wonder why. Yeah, I wonder why. you know, you always have to, like, take a break and... Uh, while you're taking that break, you're like, gosh, you know, I want to go to the rink or I want to skate. Yeah. And then you come here and you're like, man, I want to get back out there. Yeah. So it is. It's always in your blood and it's something you can do at all ages, you know. For sure. And we, you know, we appreciate you being involved in this and, and coming out and, and helping us with this. I'm guessing you were a hockey mom this morning. And then did you put morning? the skates on as well this morning to, to help the kids that were in the Learn to Skate program? Well, no, because he had a game. Ah, but okay. usually I'm here. I am always here on Saturday mornings and then I'm also help going to be helping out with the outdoor pavilion and mm -hmm. both figure hockey no boundaries for it's always fun lots of fun mm -hmm. it's it's a fun place to be uh here at the ice rink all the time yeah. uh thank you for joining us kellen thanks so much give me five buddy <laughs> give me five buddy there we go. Boom. <laughs> um, uh, that will uh, do it for today's show. I want to thank our hosts for today's show, the Kansas City Ice Center, featuring their new outdoor ice pavilion. Thanks to General Manager Dean Nelson, Skate Director Kay. Uh, I'm going to probably mess it up. You pronounce it for me. Gentis. Gentis. Okay. Kay Gentis and hockey mom and hockey instructor, uh, ice skating instructor Amy Briscoe. Be sure to join me, Steve Fish, again next week at the same time for Good Sports, Kansas City Sports and Fitness, and She KC Show. Check out some of our other shows on YouTube. Search for the Good Sports KC channel. So until next week, be sure to read all about sports health and exercise in KC Sports and Fitness Magazine and She KC Magazine. You will find them all over Kansas City, and they're free. So pick them up today.
days, we're all so busy, and many of us ignore our health and let stress turn into chronic pain. Dr. Lynn McIntosh of Kansas City Chiropractic can provide you with the proper care to relieve pain and stress, improve your health, and get more out of life. To make an appointment with Dr. McIntosh, call 816-753-4600. Most insurance plans are welcome, and this month, save 20% on Joint Replete, joint and soft tissue supplement with your coupon in KC Sports and Fitness. For more information on Dr. McIntosh and Kansas City Chiropractic, go online at kansascitychiropractic.com. The next time you're planning a group outing, choose yellow and choose first. Those yellow buses you see that transport your kids can also be rented for group activities like going to the big game, corporate events, church or youth group trips, special events, shuttles, and more. Choose yellow by contacting First Student Charter Bus Rental for safe, affordable, and reliable group transportation. With eight KC locations, there's a yellow office near you. Visit firstcharterbus.com or call 866-514-8747 and choose yellow and choose first. With the current trend to live a greener lifestyle, many people and businesses now recycle their electronics. At the Surplus Exchange, your e-waste will never go to a landfill or incinerator, nor will we allow e-waste to be shipped overseas. Some companies employ this tactic and end up polluting other countries with our waste. All materials are safely tracked, destroyed, or reclaimed right here in the U.S. The Surplus Exchange is Kansas City's link between industry, charity, and the environment. To find out more, visit surplusexchange.org. Bring basketball fever to your own backyard or driveway with your very own game court from Sport Court of Kansas City. Let Sport Court come and install a basketball game court at your home. Game courts can also be installed for volleyball, racket sports, soccer, tennis, or roller hockey. So sink that basket at the buzzer and have your own Final Four at home in your backyard or driveway Sport Court. For more details, call Sport Court at 913-963-7529 or visit sportcourtkc.com. The Kansas City Ice Center is set to open their brand new outdoor ice pavilion on November 17th. And sign up now for Learn to Skate and Learn to Play Hockey classes. The KC Ice Center is located two miles west of 435 on Johnson Drive. Plus, come check out a public skating session or call them to schedule a party or group rental. For more information or to register for a class, visit kcicecenter.com or call 913-441-3033. Take advantage of the Oliver's Pizzeria Lunchtime $5 sandwich special with your coupon from KC Sports and Fitness. Enjoy a club, meatball, grinder, or barbecue brisket sandwich at lunchtime for just $5 at Oliver's. And Oliver's Pizzeria offers a full range of pizzas with a variety of toppings, sauces, and crust styles. Visit Oliver's at 4800 West 135th Street between Knoll and Row, or go online to oliverspizzeria.com or call 913-851-5111. Unleash your creativity at the Ceramics and Coffee House at Paint, Glaze, and Fire. Come out for Family Fun Night, Kids Night Out, or many of the other scheduled events at Paint, Glaze, and Fire. Or make your next birthday party, group event, or bridal shower unique at Paint, Glaze, and Fire. And right now, get $5 off your purchase of $25 or more with your coupon in Kansas City Sports and Fitness. Call Paint, Glaze, and Fire at 913-661-CLAY or visit paintglazeandfire.net. The Ceramics and Coffee House, located at 127th and Metcalf. Professional Volleyball is back with the Heart of America Havoc. The Havoc are holding tryouts for post-college women's players on December 1st. For more information, call Kristen at 913-233-0445. I'm Cheryl Burke, two-time champion of Dancing with the Stars, and Jazzercise is my kind of fitness. It's the only place I can dance to Justin, Beyonce, and Pink and get a total body workout in 60 minutes. Visit Stanley Fitness Center at 151st and Lowell or call 913-486-8722. My snoring was keeping my wife awake at night. She told me that I stopped breathing many times during the night. When that alarm would go off in the morning, I couldn't get out of bed. Even sleeping for 9 or 10 hours would leave me feeling tired the next day. That's because I wasn't sleeping. I had sleep apnea. My doctor sent me for a sleep study at PM Sleep Lab. I feel like a new man now that I sleep through the night. Learn more at pmsleeplab.com with three Kansas City locations. Hey ladies, we now have a free sports health and exercise magazine we can call our own. It's She KC. Every month, She KC shares stories that will inspire us, entertain, and educate us, and give us ideas to help make life easier. I went to SheKC.com to find out where I could get my free copy of the publication. I also like SheKC on Facebook and She underscore KC on Twitter. And now I'm part of the She KC community. Are you? 
Every time you turn on a TV or open a magazine, another expert offers another opinion about the stock market. There's too much conflicting advice. What you really need is personal guidance designed for your needs and goals. That's what you get from Wells Fargo Advisors. At Wells Fargo Advisors, we're with you when you need help investing wisely at a risk level you feel comfortable with. In Kansas City, call financial advisor Melanie Apodaca today at 816-968-6837. Wells Fargo Advisors, LLC. Wells Fargo Advisors Financial Network, LLC. Tailgating and professional indoor football are back in KC at Kemper Arena beginning in the spring of 2013 with the Kansas City Renegades. For more information and ticket details, visit kcrenegades.com. Collegiate Camo combines your love of the outdoors and loyalty to your favorite college sports team. Collegiate Camo offers only the finest quality car and truck decals, jumbo boat decals, hats and headwear, shirts, outerwear, women's items, and other camouflage college logo products. Collegiate Camo features products for over 40 schools. Visit their website, collegiatecamo.com, to find products from your school that you can proudly display. MLS Soccer is back at the Independence Event Center. Come cheer on your Missouri Comets all season long. For more information or tickets for the Missouri Comets, visit CometsIndoorSoccer.com or call 855-KC-ARENA. 